Jones. Hi, I'm Billy Jones. You're here uh, to try out what's called a hyperbaric oxygen treatment, is that correct? Correct. And I see they've got you ready to maybe go into this uh, chamber here. Are you nervous going into something like this? No, I'm excited, ready to start healing. Miss Jones, she's a, a very unfortunate lady who lost uh, blood flow to her foot and required us to uh, remove uh, uh, her leg below her knee, called below knee amputation. And uh, because of her severe vascular disease, she has uh, starting to lose blood supply to this flap and is at significant risk for uh, losing the below knee stump and us having to convert her to an above knee amputation, which uh, is much harder to walk with a prosthesis and she's relatively young and, and otherwise healthy females. So we want to do everything that we can uh, to try to get this stump healed. Um, the surge of the amputation was um, May 14th. Was it a complication due to what, diabetes or something? No, or? it just got a slight infection and wouldn't heal. We placed her today in the hyperbaric oxygen chamber for the first time. The way this works is to hopefully increase oxygen levels uh, to the stump so that uh, the tissues can get the amount of oxygen and nutrients they need uh, to heal. My name is Mandy Smoot. I'm a certified hyperbaric technician here at uh, Cleveland Regional Medical Center. Um, we treat them in this chamber. We pressurize the chamber with 100% oxygen. Um, it's good for wound healing. There's several different indications for this treatment. Generally, a patient's treatment will last somewhere around an hour and a half to two hours. Uh, patients come uh, once a day, uh, five days a week, uh, generally for about 20 treatments. And uh, then if they're showing good signs of improvement or if they have healed, we may continue or may decide not to continue past that. Here, um, we do have, it's a physician-based clinic. We have a physician here um, 40 hours a week. Um, having the expert nurses that we have on staff, the expert HBO technicians we have here, and our panel of physicians allows us to treat that entire patient. For the right patient in the right situation, hyperbaric oxygen is a wonderful tool and uh, has a lot of uh, very good research uh, behind it that shows that it works. And this is one of those situations where it, it can work very effectively and make a significant difference in her outcome. I mean, the first thing to say is we've got a beautiful facility, and then, but the thing that makes it go is the people. And uh, we've got nurses that have been experienced in this for uh, a long time. We were just talking about the fact we're real fortunate to have a, a hyperbaric tech that uh, is experienced and has worked many years in Texas. She was at Baylor, and she just happened to move to this area. So, and then I'm very blessed by having uh, surgical partners, Shelby Surgical Associates. So it's, uh, the only one that's not a general surgeon is myself. A lot of clinics, you know, people come in just when they're sick, and you really don't get to know them, but here I'm with them Monday through Friday for, you know, up to four weeks, so I really do build a relationship with my patients. I think that's important because I want them to trust me because this is not, you know, just something you see every day. The hospital's been extremely um, supportive of everything that, that um, we put forth in this effort, including our efforts for hyperbaric oxygen. Um, we do have two um, hyperbaric oxygen chambers installed and, and ready to, to treat. We have an area that is plumbed for two additional chambers. We have access to four. Uh, it's something that is a, a advanced therapy. It's not for everyone. Um, not every wound is indicated to be in that chamber. That's up to the physicians to make that diagnostic determination. But uh, the excitement of having that next level of treatment whereby our options have been do more surgery, do more amputations, do more um, removal of necrotic area, now has um, an option potentially not to face that surgery. Um, and so that's exciting for the patient. Nothing's 100% in healthcare, but we have them, we now have an opportunity for the patients to have a much better option than what they did um, a month ago with this, with this treatment being available.